Hello, this is Reki, and of course, welcome back for another freaky at Deaky video. We're gonna go back to Nuke's top five because he just is packing them in now. This is five days ago, and this is top ten scary ghost videos that'll spoop ya. I really don't know what spoop is, but I'm thinking it's gonna be something to do with this poop. Ah, uh, never mind. Uh, if you haven't checked out Nuke's top five. Uh, the channel you find the link for both the video we're gonna watch and of course for the channel they're both located in the description uh and of course before anything else if you do enjoy this let me know by smacking the like and if you're new to the channel consider hitting that subscribe i would greatly appreciate that and of course we say a big thank you to the channel members and the patrons thank you so much thank you personal shout outs goes out to the uh supreme tier donators over by patreon and of course on channel membership god bless and thank you so much personal shout outs to the ultimate supporters goes to deja walt roni Dwayne, tammy kevin dana troy sarah robert matt tracy and lon thank you so much thank you now it's high time for some nukes top five There you go. I think that should be it. There you go. So about a 30 minute long video. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. User Cheryl Sweetie 2 on TikTok is a single mother and seamstress who says that she and her daughter have been experiencing strange and unsettling things inside their home. For months, they've been hearing the sound of someone walking in the hallway outside of their bedrooms, and they've found their things mysteriously moved from room to room. Things have from moved from room to room gotten so strange that Cheryl even began to worry that they might have a squatter living in their walls. So she installed a security camera so that she can keep an eye on their home. One night, Cheryl's daughter is playing with her toys in her mother's bedroom when something disturbing happens that Cheryl still just can't explain. What the hell is going on? What's going on? Young girl walks. I gotta say, the first video gave me goosebumps. Right at my butthole. I can tell you that. What the hell was the girl looking at? Toward the closet, seemingly expecting something to be inside. And then she just stands there, transfixed. Almost as if she sees something that we can't. She seems to get a little spooked and leaves. Little the closet spooked. door slowly closes by itself. TikTok user Cheryl Sweetie 2 has no idea what to make of this video. And about three months later, this happens. Hey guys, um, just wanted to jump on really quick because I had to stop sewing. My daughter just said that something weird really happened and we've been experiencing a lot of strange things lately, just different noises and stuff. Oh, hell. Don't my mannequins I sew for a living. Dolls and mannequins. We need to add, and I think we already did add the mannequins to shit you don't have home. Are we, are we in a complete agreement with that? Don't have that shit at home. 
if that thing just turns around now, I'm going to just poop myself. I think so. I don't want to watch. What, what you just said? I think there's something underneath that door. Under the closet door? I'm on edge. Oh. <laughs> Is that what scared you? I don't understand. Why would you put a mannequin just inside staring at you? Everything's alright. No, it's not alright. What? I'm scared. Come on, come on. Come on. Cheryl's daughter seems scared as she says that she sees something just underneath the closet door. Oh. But there's nothing inside except for a Did tiny close creepy it? mannequin. Yeah. However, the mannequin seems to start moving on its own and falls over, breaking into pieces. Cheryl and her daughter are terrified and they just get out of there. TikTok user Cheryl Sweetie 2 says that she still has no idea what happened that night and that she and her daughter are moving out to stay at her friend's house until they can find a new place to live. The old Willis place. That was creepy. First video out and I'm already terrified. Urban Explorer Robert from the YouTube channel Sidestep Adventures into History is joined by his friend Dan to explore an old abandoned house in the woods near Waverly Hall, Georgia. Dan estimates the house to have been built or rebuilt around the early 1900s, after which it was abandoned sometime in the 1960s. The house is known by locals to be the quote, Old Willis Place, named after Mr. Willis, a man who lived there and presumably also died there. Now Robert and Dan are determined to find more clues as to exactly how old the house is. They look inside, around, and even underneath the building. Okay. Doesn't that look like an early settlement style chimney there? It does. What's interesting is the chimney looks like an older style than the house looks. I'm thinking that this was probably built in the early 1900s. There's a child's spoon. Well, that's cool. How old do you reckon that is? That's old. It's not silver, it's, it's brass, silver plated. Oh, look. Look, uh, look at the entire stump. Looks like it was cut down, I guess, with an axe. Let me set the light down. I'm gonna touch it. This is an old tree right here. That's for sure. But while inspecting the foundation of the old Willis place, the two explorers are suddenly interrupted by something downright creepy. Either this was a one-room house, or it was a two-room house with a dog trot all the way down the middle. Kind of what? Hard to tell from here. It's a uh, been a lot of pillars were placed under here. Yeah. A lot of floor supports. So that's a 1958 Coke bottle, right? Oh, what is that? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's weird. Here. here. These guys are just freaking checking out the old house and there's freaking footsteps coming up from the above. There there's no one there but they but them. That is strange.
You heard that, right, Dan? Yes, I did. <laughs> That was weird. All right, that's gonna. That's enough of this old house for a minute. We're gonna go look at something else. All right, uh, oh. well, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Um, so I hope you guys have. Robert and Dan are taking a look underneath the house when suddenly they hear the eerie sound of footsteps on the floor right above them. Oh, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> they quickly crawl out from underneath the house and look inside crawl out i would not crawl out i will actually stand up right through the god the freaking floor and just run but there's no one there then while filming the outro for the video a loud bang is heard from the old willis place all right, uh, well, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Um, so I hope you guys have... The two explorers are a bit creeped out by the bizarre experience and decide to just get away from the house. They explore the area a bit more and then head home. So could it be that they accidentally captured a paranormal event on camera? Could it be the ghost of old Mr. Willis? I don't have an explanation, and that's kind of freaking me out. Second video so far... That is just freaking me out completely. You can watch this entire exploration, as well as many more surveys of creepy and historic abandoned locations, over on the YouTube channel, Sidestep Adventures into History. I like that channel. We need scary videos, so if you see anything that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Paranormal Captivity. This next video was shared to the internet by Reddit user Lauren Constantino from Auburn, Pennsylvania. Lauren okay. says that she has recently moved into an old early 1900s house that she shares with two roommates. Late one evening, Lauren is hanging out when she spots her roommate's cat in the hallway and decides to take a short video. But as she's recording, she spots something very disturbing. Baxter. Did you see it? No. just a fraction of a second, a distorted face appears right in front of the cat. Shocked by what she captured, Lauren posts her video on Reddit in the hopes of getting some answers. But what? Reddit users are quick to point out that the face looks like it could have been made with some popular common face filters. But Lauren says that she wasn't using any kind of app or filter. She was recording directly from her iPhone's camera. But what is truly bizarre is that this face doesn't this... look like any face altering, makeup, or face swapping filter was used. The face is odd and twisted and has hair, eyebrows, a nose, and mouth. And even creepier, half of another distorted upside down face seems to appear right beside it. So just what is this? I leave it up to you to decide. Oh my god, this is the third one. It's gonna be a long video. The Router Revenant. A Jet Bueno is the proud new owner of a small internet cafe in Marilao, Philippines. Late one night, a Jet's girlfriend, Jen, drives over to the cafe to catch up on some important paperwork. Jen is completely alone with only their cat, Bulog, to keep her company. What happens next is truly bizarre. Crap, the eerie music starts and shit's gonna hit the fan. Working at a very high speed. Time seven. Same spot. Oh shit. Maybe the ghosts want to watch Nukes Top 5.
Yeah, it's rats. Headphones and a keyboard start falling from desks, eventually freaking out Jen so much that she hurries out of the cafe and calls her boyfriend a Jed, the cafe owner. Oh my. Jen seems to calm her down enough that she goes back inside to collect her things. But as Jen turns off the lights, one of the chairs quickly slides toward her, scaring her so much that she panics and just throws her paperwork at the chair and runs out. A Jet shares his CCTV footage to his social media and ask people to keep an open mind. Now, Ajet and his girlfriend Jen have never posted anything about the paranormal before, and they say they have never experienced anything supernatural until this incident. But is it real, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The Goodwill Four videos now. It could be an elaborate hoax, definitely. I'm not saying it's completely 100% real or whatever you guys want to talk about. But her reaction is so goddamn genu genuine, it's just freaking me out. She actually turns around and throws the shit that she wanted to go in and get. What? Ghost doll. TikTok user James Fodder bought a very creepy doll at his local Goodwill. At the time, a store employee warned James that the doll's previous owner was in a rush to get rid of it because she believed it was very haunted. James didn't believe in the paranormal and knew the doll was worth quite a bit of money. So he bought it and took it home. That's when he realized that he had made a huge mistake. James began to hear voices. The doors in his home started to open and close on their own. And scariest of all, he started seeing strange shadowy shapes around his home. James decided to place the doll on a chair in an empty room with a motion activated. We talked about this so many times on this channel. No dolls. No dolls. The camera monitoring it. What he captures is downright creepy. Okay, where's the camera going? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I hate this. Is the motion sensor? Don't go back to the doll. Don't go back to the doll. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. It's actually a motion sensor, right? The camera moves around as it tracking movement somewhere in the empty room. But nothing's moving. Then a small dark shape can be seen quickly moving across the floor. That, that's a ball of death going right there. Or in the hallway behind the doll. James explains that the camera only moves when it senses physical motion. So he has no idea why the camera would be moving when there's nothing there. Another night of filming, and when James checks his camera footage, he is shocked. I don't understand. I hate this. Is that if that doll moves? I don't want to watch this. With the camera just trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Oh shit, shit.
The camera still moves all around, seemingly tracking something that we can't see. Then the doll seems to just start moving all on its own. James says that he was a skeptic before all this, but that he now 100% believes that the doll he brought home from Goodwill has a paranormal entity attached to it. Yeah. But what do you think is happening here? Is it real or is it all just- That's a freaking really big, fast dust or ball or whatever you want to call it. I don't, I don't understand why people would actually think that I'm going to buy a doll here because of the owner told me that he doesn't want it anymore because it's probably uh, infested with demons. Yeah, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to put it in my home and everything's going to be all right. Just an elaborate hoax. You decide. I'm hoping hoax. The trespassers. This next mysterious video was shared to Reddit by Raphael H445, who claims that his sister recorded the footage on her property. Late one night, a motion activated security camera outside their home senses movement. Okay. The CCTV records two trespassers standing at the property gate. The homeowner heads outside to demand that they leave and clicks his car alarm to activate his truck's headlights. It lights up the two strangers as clear as day, but when he yells for them to leave, they don't move. Then the man heads for his truck, reaching inside and flipping on the headlights. But the trespassers have disappeared. To this day, the family has no idea who they were or what. I don't know. Does the camera still have them, even though they're not there? Like if you take, if you film and there's a shadow uh, of light thingy, I don't know, something like that, the camera still have them. You know when you like watching a light and then you close your eyes and you can see the, the contours of the light? Does the camera do the same thing? What they were doing there, but most disturbing of all, where did they go? Yeah. The Graveyard Flyer. A while back, we featured a video by ghost hunters David and Dell from the YouTube channel Signs yeah. and Signals. In the video, they visited what is said to be a haunted church and captured multiple encounters with a creepy shadow figure. Did you used to play piano here? Saw this one. We would love to hear you play again. David and Dell decided to return to the church for another investigation. But this time their plans aren't to investigate the church. Because you see, just outside the church is an old cemetery with graves dating back to the early 1800s. The guys decide to investigate the graveyard for any paranormal activity. And at first, they don't really experience anything. Is anybody out here? So the guys decide to split up and explore the cemetery separately. As David wanders alone through the graves, he sees something that he just can't explain. I swear I keep thinking that I hear something. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I do not like it one bit. No clue what's go- oh, Is I'm pretty sure I just saw something go to- I don't know what I saw. It looked like a shadow or something go to that bush. A shadow going to the bush? I don't even know- I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> it was like a shadow. It's over here, it's over here. The bush, the bush, the bush. 
Dude, that was... That actually looked like one of those uh, gazelles, like Thompson gazelles, like can jump really high. I can see that the back... That must be a deer or something, to be honest. Look, look at the backbones on this one. Look at that. The guys search behind the bush and even inside it, but there's no evidence of whatever the strange flying black thing might have been. Then Dell makes a disturbing discovery. There's a tombstone in there? There's a tombstone right here, dude. Look at that. There is a tombstone. 1842. Dude, that is freaking crazy, bro. The bush that the strange dark shape flew into is actually the marker for a grave dating back to the year 1842. So was this bizarre shadow figure one of the spirits that haunt the old graveyard? Maybe returning to its grave? And if not, then just what is this? Let me I'm just, I'm gonna say a Thompson gazelle because that is freaking me out completely. Know what you think. It rings a bell. Reddit user RileyJoss11 says that his mother's friend captured something very strange on their ring doorbell camera. It's a little after four in the morning when a translucent shape appears out of nowhere and seems to activate the ring doorbell six times before it moves away and disappears. Now, usually I would just write this off as a spider web that's too close to the lens, but a spider web can't ring a doorbell six times. And also this thing seems to react each time the doorbell rings. Then it just moves off and disappears into the night. Again, not really like a spider web. So could this be a paranormal event caught on camera? Or just what is going on here? Let me know what you think. What is that? I am completely speechless. I don't know what that is. Alien thing? Through the roof. Late one night, Shally and her daughter Melody go outside to take a look at a group of cute cats that have gathered in the yard outside their home in Indonesia. Then things take a very creepy turn. The hell is that? Did you see it? No. Someone or something can be seen standing on a rooftop right in front of them. Shally doesn't see it and is confused as to why her daughter is so upset. It's what? only after posting the video to TikTok that viewers tell Shally there was something on that roof. But what do you think this is? Let me know. Un. I don't see it. Invited. Popular Korean ghost hunt live streamer Michael from the YouTube channel Docha Michael explores an abandoned house that is said to be haunted. When Michael arrives at the location, even before he has a chance to enter the building, strange things start to happen. Is he trying to scare you? <laughs> Holy crap. As 
soon as Michael starts recording and is just about to enter the old abandoned house, a wheelchair starts to move all on its own. Now obviously Michael is shocked by what he just witnessed, but he has no idea that things are about to get even creepier. Creepier? We can do creepier. Is that the... Oh, Jesus. Something seems to pound on a door, catching Michael's attention. Then the door suddenly swings open on its own. Creepiest of all, whoever or whatever was pounding on the door seems to be hiding behind a curtain and quickly moves away. When Michael runs over, there's no one there. Yeah, but he's Just filming an on- empty room. He's filming on the floor though. Later into the investigation, Michael finds a mirror on top of a makeup table. This is when things get downright chilling. Oh, wow. Why is it so? The ghost hunter's stomach suddenly starts to growl from hunger and he is so distracted rubbing his belly that he doesn't even notice that someone or something is walking up right behind him. I but like when he that. turns around, again, there's just no one there. Michael has no idea what he just captured on camera. He continues his exploration of the creepy abandoned building. Now Michael hears a sound coming from the same curtain he filmed earlier. When he gets close to the curtain to find an explanation to the strange sound, this happens. Shit. Something seems to punch at Michael through the curtains. Understandably, he is terrified by the strange attack and makes a run for it. So did Michael capture evidence of something oh paranormal my on camera? God. Something trying to attack him? Or, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can check uh, out this full uh, investigation and many more creepy videos over on the YouTube channel, Docha Michael. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe and click the little bell notification icon so that you never miss a video. And if you already haven't done that, link for uh, Nuke's Top 5 channel is, of course, available in the description. Go there and give them the, the uh, support that they so much deserve. I really enjoyed this. This was one of the greatest ones so far. Uh, the, four, uh, the, the, the four first videos was just knocking the the crap out of me and holy crap i had to enjoy that let me know what you think i'm always really keen on your explanations or <clears throat> non-believant in the paranormal let me know if you do enjoy what i just did don't forget to smack the like and of course hit that subscribe i would greatly appreciate that until next time i'm ricky you stay safe